Hey folks, Michael Daniels here with Tinkering with Tech. Today we're going to talk about someone else running your Zoom meeting. Check this out. So you go into your Zoom account online, zoom.us. Then I'm going to click on my account. Now here on the left hand side, you see under personal, it has your profile. So I'm going to be on this page and I'm going to scroll down to host key. You see here where it says host key. Now I'm not going to show you that number, but there's a six digit number that's my particular host key. And if I ever need to change that, you can see over here where you may need to edit that. So you can change that number. Let's say you've given it to someone just temporarily and you want to change it because now you want to give it to someone else. This is where you would do that. So now I've shared with my regular account, not the tinkering with tech account. So I'm going to go into my iPad and I'm going to click join. And when I click join, I'm going to choose the ID number that I want. This will be blocked so you won't be able to see this, but this is our private one that I use all the time. And then I click done. Now I've got it. Now I'm going to come in as Michael Daniels. So that way you can see that I'm coming in as Michael Daniels. I'm going to hit join. So now I'm going to join with video. I'm going to actually join without video just because I don't need video just to show this demonstration. How's that? Now I've got the sound. Now I'm going to show you in participants. If you look at the top up here, this is kind of tough to see, I know, but I'm using this as. At an angle, but if you go up to participants, I click on participants. You can see that it's just me in here, okay? I have no host, no co-host, no nothing. So I'm going to click on a blank spot to come off of that. I'm going to go to more, and then I'm going to enter the host key to claim the host. So now I am going to put the host key in. So I'm going to skip this for a little bit, and I'll be right back with you. So now once I've entered the key, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to participants. So when I click on participants, now you see it says the word host. I am the host. Hopefully you see that. I am not the owner of this account, but I am hosting the Tinkering with Tech account. So now let's go check out what it looks like when I actually come in as Tinkering with Tech with me taking over as the host. That's the next step. So now when I open up participants, you can see that I have retained the host and Tinkering with Tech, who owns this Zoom, who started this thing, who created the meeting, is the co-host. I have to give the host ability to back to Tinkering with Tech. If you look at the Zoom on the desktop for Tinkering with Tech, you can see that Michael Daniels is the host and then Tinkering with Tech is the co-host. So even though it's my meeting, they still retain the host. I have to pass that over to that person. Let's go see how to do that very quickly. Okay, we're going to click on Tinkering with Tech. And when we do that, we make Tinkering with Tech the host. Hit OK. Now, they are the host, and I am not even a co-host. You can see it right here. So if you're ever panicked and you're running late for a meeting, just have your friend make sure they have a host key and they can start the meeting for you. I hope this helped. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out a couple of these other videos. Thank you very much.